Welcome to the info boxes panel. How many people here know what an info box is in our community? Good, but even if you don't, the 30 second introduction is info boxes are what you normally see when you look at an article in Wikipedia in the upper right hand corner and it probably tries to give you most of the facts about a topic. You're starting to see info boxes more than in just Wikipedia articles. If you saw one of our presenters here, Mike Peel got an award yesterday for his work on info boxes and commons. He'll talk about that. We're also gonna have other folks talk about their experiences in implementing info boxes that are driven by Wikidata. So even without Wikidata as part of the equation, there have been some pretty famous, I don't wanna say battles, but let's say disputes and conflicts between Wikipedia editors about the appropriateness of info boxes and their role in different projects. So uh, we've been having a session like this for the last few years talking about what, um, what the interaction should be between our communities and Wikidata and Wikipedia and Commons and other places. So hopefully this will give you a pretty good uh, set of views on where things are right now and where they're going from Wikipedia editions that are heavily using intro boxes and ones that are a little bit more reluctant to do that. So we have our presenters today, Harmonia, TPT, Amador, and Mike Peel. So we're gonna start with Harmonia, is that right? Uh, or yes, TPT well, and Harmonia. Okay, very good, thank you. And they'll introduce themselves and talk about their info box story. Um, hi everyone, so I am Armoni Amanda, I don't have my name type exactly. Um, I think we have very different expectations and uh, goals, whether we have really small communities, bigger community, or the really, really big communities, like commons and everything. Uh, what TPT and I are working on are automated Wikidata info boxes for really, really small Wikipedias. So Wikipedias without anyone knowing Lua in their community or really or not having a regular workshop or nobody meeting up in real life like the really, really small communities. And uh, typically we start with the technical side of things. Yes, so what we wanted to have is a template <laughs> without, let's say for very small wikis, so without having to do any work saying that, hey, we want to have an info box about person where we should display the birth date and the birth date, it's a, a piece of something on Wikidata and so on. So really something that is fully automated and just works, you just have to copy the, uh, a Lua module on your wiki and then the template calling the Lua module and then it should just work without any configuration. And so it's what we did. So it's basically a single Lua module with something like something like 200 lines of Lua. And the only configuration we have in this is just a list of properties we don't want to display. So mostly the properties of a, that are internal to a Wikimedia project. And then it creates a info box uh, from this based on the Wikidata content. So it's already deployed on 13 Wikipedias right now. And we call it data box. So here, here is a an example of Infobox in one very small Wikipedia. Sorry, I don't remind the uh, language. AUSA. It's in AUSA. Thank you. And so here is some example. So you see basically the idea is Infobox is you display the label of the, uh, uh, of the Wikidata item and then you have, um, if there is an image on Wikidata, you display it. Then you have a subtitle with uh, Wikidata um, uh, type and then you have the list of properties sorted just like Wikidata. And at the end, is there are geo-coordinates, you have a map, and that's it. So it's very simple, and it works for any kind of entity. So it's just not for person, place, or, or stuff. You don't have to configure it, it just, it just works. So it's not the nicest in Fabox, but it's very simple, and you see it in four different languages. It works quite, I believe it works quite well, but there is still a lot of work for languages, actually. It's to translate the labels, and Armonia is going to talk about it. Um, yeah, the the problem. Well, uh, the problem with the info boxes uh, in general, it's uh, what the Indian community talked yesterday in their talk. So, if you want that specific thing, you should eat the stream for that presentation they did yesterday about how to fill the knowledge gap in Wikidata. And um, the problem is not the technical part of thing, is that if you don't have any labels in your language, we will follow the MediaWiki fallback languages. 
and at some point we will end up in English. So the problem with these really small communities is actually how to create a dynamic to translate things so we can use data from Wikidata. And uh, that's in how to create your own community rules. So on the 13 Wikipedia, we have very different uh, use rules. So we have Wikipedia who makes the, cho the choice to only have the info boxes in drafts. So you have the data, you can write the article, but you don't see it on the main space. You have Wikipedia who makes the choice, hey, if two thirds of the info box is in my language, then I want it on the main space. And so I know which I, what do I need to translate. And there are Wikipedia who chose only info boxes entirely in their languages. So um, the idea is to start with uh, label attempts. Uh, so you can use, you can say the, oh, the next slide. Uh, oh no, it's, uh, yeah, sorry, uh, you can, uh, sorry, uh, you can see on the side, the, we made the Sparkle query for the AUSA Wikipedia for uh, the most used property on Wikidata, which are don't have a label in AUSA. And you can see that the, mo uh, the first property is language use, which is not that much uh, used on Wikidata uh, because they translated everything else. And that was not that much an amount of work. So you can start small, build a community, start using data on Wikidata. And if you have a bigger community, you want info boxes who are doing cooler, cooler thing than that. And that's the uh, Catalan project. No? So that's yours. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, well, first of all, I Uh, first of all, uh, I apologize for my English. If you are expert in uh, rare languages, this is your opportunity. Um, well, I will talk about two things: the our info boxes, but uh, are several info boxes and our reaches, and you can play with them. And I, I prepare a, an address that you can see in the presentation to, in order to play. I show some. But no uh, standard in the in the process in the in the look and feel, but in the process. We start we started three years ago. We uh, implemented Wikidata in uh, Wikidata inside inside uh, the info boxes. Our objectives were this: take advantage of Wikidata. In that moment, was emerging. Um, um, take, use this excuse as harmonize uh, uh, harmonize the the uh, the the skins of the of the layouts and layouts uh, reduce the, inf the obsolescence of the information because <coughs> everything was para manual parameters and avoid particular solutions because uh, there are uh, made, made a small uh, template is easier and everybody has uh, its own template for its own article and what we have thousands of articles oh, with uh, uh, sorry thousands of uh, info boxes with us. 10, 20 articles. Uh, the problems were this. Uh, the, the people doesn't, doesn't trust in, in, in Wikidata, uh, do, doesn't want to change, and they want to maintain a typical uh, or local information that is not in Wikidata. Um, well, the, now, three years, three years after, um, the, the, the solutions that we apply it and the, the stat of the art that we have is that um, we, we say, okay, I w we will keep the manual parameters uh, if you wish. But as Wikidata um, um, get the information, I will, I will uh, erase the manual parameters because you don't need, okay? Um, nowadays, 82% uh, of, of, of all Wikipedia articles has a, a Wikidata uh, a Wikidata info box, and 60% of the articles has just the call to the template without any other manual parameters. Mm, we agree 90% of the um, all the articles has the harmonizes and s some uh, sim similar skill and, and look and feel. Uh, when the passage of the time, we change the priority. We say manual is before the Wikidata. But in some moment, we say 
this manual probably is obsolete, so we, we change the, the, the priorities. Um, well, uh, this is a, a, a question about, um, there is a discussion, I need, I want to, I, I believe that it's important to have too many um, info boxes or just one info box. Um, well, we believe that it's important to have one info box for each grid concept, a person, a building, or something like this, but not one for each kind, or one for all kind of uh, solutions. This is our figures. The important thing of this, uh, this uh, list is with four info boxes, we cover 50% of our articles. With four info boxes, we cover 20% more. And with all, we cover uh, 7, 80%, 80%. Look at the long tail that we can, we have no solution because they are very, very specific, is 83 uh, info boxes only for cover 9%. So the most if you uh, bet for these options, you have a, a grid cover. The look and feel of the info boxes is like this. You have here an address uh, to, to arrive. And these, multi, these info boxes are multilingual and respond to, to you can explain the, can tell them the parameter, the language in two ways. One is in the preferences of the Wikipedia. Or if you don't want to follow the preferences and will force another language, you can call the, the template. Uh, with a parameter lang equal and the language uh, you wish. Um, all the translations are made via uh, Wikidata labels. So when, let me show one example of the uh, drop well, no. If some if some label doesn't exist in your language, in uh, in your language in Wikidata, it appears. Not is the case. Sorry, it appears here a, a pencil, and you push the pencil and goes to Wikidata in order to enter the label, the label, and then it's it's running. Yes, ten seconds. Uh, what is our current goals? We have our solution implemented in our Wikipedia. The community is quiet, is happy, and no one think again in the all solutions. So um, as the Wikidata team told me um, um, two, in two last uh, hackathon, no, two hackathons again, uh, before, um, it's nice, but it's talking Catalan. So I translate, uh, I change it to be multilingual. And now uh, this solution is near to be a plug and play in any other Wikipedia. Uh, until now, some other languages copied our wiki, wiki module and uh, um, info boxes, but as nowhere uh, multilingual, they need to translate and then they have their own copy and lose the synchronizing with our, our evolution. But now this is not necessary or don't, if you make this kind of migration and don't touch or every, every uh, break we did, we, we, sorry, every uh, update we don't will be you uh, only. Okay? And Ms. Mr. Mike Bill, Okay, so I've, I've just got a couple of slides, um, one on Commons, one on English Wikipedia. Um, so the first is on Commons, so this is a single info box. Um, it's actually two info boxes, it's slightly separate in the way it's coded for people and for everything else, but it generally works for every single topic. Um, it's deployed on Commons where it's a very different community from most Wikipedias that it needs to be multilingual out of the box. So you need to be able to change the language of your interface and everything changes in the info box, which Wikidata lets you do. 
So before this, before Wikidata, Commons did not really have info boxes in categories. Now it can. Um, it's currently deployed in about two and a half million, not quite two and a half million, but hopefully in a few weeks' time we'll get there. Um, that's out of about seven million Commons categories, so we're less than halfway to go, actually. Um, so please keep adding it if you can spot a category without it. Um, it, adds, it tries to add um, everything it can, which is useful, but try to do it in as compact form as possible. Um, because you don't want to take up space because the main thing of Commons is all the media files, so you want to highlight those and then this info box gives you additional context on the topic down the side. Um, so it's, it shows the image, it shows the um, main properties, a map of where it is. Um, importantly, it links to tools which you might find useful at the bottom, so things like uh, WikiShootMe to find nearby pictures um, and other things like that. Um, it's something that can work on other wikis. It's not very portable. It relies on about half a dozen different templates and Lua codes at the moment. I'm hoping to compact that so it is more portable, so you can use it elsewhere if you want. Um, it's now set up so that the main template is actually a configuration template. So you can say, um, we want the um, width of this to be 200 pixels or 300 pixels. You can define that in here. You can say, we want a map, we want this coordinate system. So it's got some flexibility to cope with um, different cases. Um, it is actually installed on English Wikipedia, and you can sort of use it there, but someone will come along within a few hours and change it to a different template. So <laughs> you can see how it looks on English Wikipedia, at least. Um, it is also on a few other ones. English Wikipedia is a difficult one. So it has a lot of existing content. The advantage of Commons is there wasn't that much content in the categories to start with, so you could go in and add, add a lot more very easily. English Wikipedia already has that. So if you are using an info box from Wikidata, you're normally replacing existing content and editors don't like that. There's also, there seems to be a feeling that in the English Wikipedia it can act as a check against Wikidata, so that if you keep things independent then you can cross-check and catch vandalism, which sort of works as long as you don't mind all the extra burden of having to handle two lots of the same data, one in a structured form, which is lovely, and one in an unstructured form, which is a pain. Um, there's also a lot more different templates, so there's about 100 templates, the Infobox templates that use Wikidata at the moment, that's out of thousands on English Wikipedia, converting all those will take a long time. Um, there's about 2,000 Infoboxes that are entirely drawn from Wikidata, on, which is a small fraction of the number of articles there, but um, it's, it's been a, a long way to get there. Um, and there's a lot more demanding on it, getting exactly the right formatting, so you can't have anything which doesn't look quite right or show queue numbers and things like that. You've got to have local overrides, you've got to uh, make sure you're only showing reference information. All of that is built into the code which underlays these info boxes, which is Wikidata IB, which is what Doug Taylor's been working on, user XS. Um, and you can use that, it's very modular, so each bit of the info box is constructed separately, so you don't even need to know Lua to create the info, these info boxes. I don't really know Lua at all, so um, you can just use the existing templates um, structure to do that, which makes it quite nice to deploy and to fiddle around with. Um, yeah, that's basically all I've got, so uh, most of the session hopefully will be questions from you, and hopefully we can give you some answers. Thanks for listening. Make sure we have both microphones working here. You want to test that? Make sure it works. Does that microphone work back? Yeah. Second one? Does it work? Testing? Yes, yep. great. All right, great. Well, we'd love to hear some questions, and also, if you have experiences with information boxes and other communities, we'd love to hear that. So, Yeah, uh, uh, my wiki is a small wiki, and we have 20 to 25 editors. Uh, so. Uh, do I need uh, to know Lua uh, to implement Wikidata template? Which or to, to whom? Is, to me? To, uh, uh, to all of people. Uh, uh, anybody okay, can okay, answer. Okay. That's okay. 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 Um, okay. Uh, that's actually why we made three presentation in one. In that, if nobody in your community can do any Lua work at all, then the solution is the one TPT and I made. Uh, but this one is. Uh, you can't easily make your own preferences. Uh, so we deal with all the technical parts, but there is drawback to that. If you have someone locally who can say, hey, this looks good, but uh, we have actually this kind of problem in all language. Like, for example, we had problems with uh, gender language, which are not shown uh, female labels, which is actually a 
not a complicated thing to find in Lua, but you need to know the Lua uh, code to find that. Uh, so someone who doesn't know your language won't think of that if uh, they are coming from a language which doesn't have this problem. So you, see if you have someone who knows Lua, you can make more personalization to have something which look better on your Wikipedia, which is what the Catalan Wikipedia is doing. They have uh, skin layouts which are really uh, integrated with the rest of the layouts of Wikipedia, which you can't do when you don't know any Lua at all. But you have different kind of solution depending on what your community is right now. Uh, can I copy the code uh, which is already there in uh, yeah. Catalan Wikipedia to my Wikipedia, yeah. the code, uh, yeah. uh, to make a new template or something like that? Uh, well, uh, actually, our, our solution has, has two levels. The, the model wiki, Wikidata, that is, is responsible to handle the access to the, to the, to the Wikidata and recovery, values, multi-values, qualifiers, and so. And the, the, the level presentation, the presentation level that is made by wiki templates in wiki code, okay? So the, our model now is running in seven or eight Wikipedias different that they, they have their own solutions calling this model, but the presentation is their own, okay? If you have some solution like this, you can, you can get our model. However, uh, if you don't have a good solution in the template in the presentation, we can you can take both our model and our templates, okay? Because if you if you get and change the language and change your language, it, it runs immediately, okay? So, so to be clear, your your solution is Lua based. You kind of have to take it all. You handle all the technical parts, but since you have it split in two layers, you can still tweak it at the wiki code level to yeah, customize yeah. it. Yeah. Does that make sense? Uh, we, okay. we split in two. We split in two because uh, the number of uh, uh, editors able to modify Lua is decreasing. Right. And um, we concentrated in, uh, in a Lua module everything that is considered, can be considered a black box. Mm -hmm. and, and the changes that people ask is related with the presentation. I don't like this color. I, I want this upper and this other down. The, all these kind of things is made in templates. Right. So, I, may, I modify the templates, but there are several editors that can modify the templates right. too. Great. And then, Mike, how does your your yeah? That, that, <laughs> Mike is a Mike uh, is I'm, I'm sorry. That that that's the part. I think most of the people who are at the WikidataCon are actually coming for communities which know uh, Wikicode. Uh, we made data box for all, uh, especially for African languages, but I think it should be in on many minority languages, but we made that for the Attica Mech Wikipedia, for the AUSA Wikipedia, we have actually on the AUSA Wikipedia, AUSA is actually a uh, language spoken by millions of people, but uh, Wikipedia have less than 4,000 articles, and they don't have people knowing even Wikicode because they are editing by phone and things. So uh, it's like uh, Wikidata, uh, Scribe, the project uh, we presented on the first day and everything. So the really, really small communities have actually really different expectation from communities who are actually again, really Wikipedian already and who have their own templates and their own personalization. And they want the code, but they don't know any code at all. Right, right. So that's great. The ones on Commons and uh, English Wikipedia tend to be built up using Wikidata IB, so that does the individual parameters that you fetch, and that's all in Lua, but then you calling that from the Wikitext. Mm -hmm. So I don't know Lua, so all those info boxes you saw are constructed in Wikitext, and that's possible. The good thing with all of these different combinations is you can pick which one you like the best and just use that, or use multiple ones on the same right. wiki, right. or, yeah. yeah. And it's all drawing information from the same place. That's the important thing. So we all share the same data set. Right. In function of the skill of your editor, see, you have a lot of people that know Lua or, or Wikicode, doesn't matter. But if you have a, a low people able to do that, you must choose the, the, the better solution for you. I mean, it's amazing how far we've come in the last two years that we actually have choice of really good solutions. That's great. Hi. Uh, thank you. Uh, I'm Danny. I'm from the Wikimedia Foundation. 
Um, I think that there are actually some problems that need to get solved uh, in, in regards to the distrust that Wikipedians have that are on the Wikidata side and not on the Wikipedia side, so it's not just about resistance to change. I will tell you a story. Uh, I was talking to Lydia at Wikimania about this and sort of walked through a, a little scenario. Uh, because we were in Stockholm, we tried, like the example that we used was the population of Stockholm. So let's say I'm from English Wikipedia, uh, and I say that it's X million, um, and then I come back later and I see that that has been changed to Y million because it's, uh, that was done by somebody like on another Wikipedia in another language. Um, how do I know like where that comes from and, and who did it and, and what the source was? Um, so I, like, I clicked through to get to the Wikidata item uh, and then looked at that property, uh, and it actually turned out that um, somebody had very recently, this was a coincidence, but somebody very recently had changed the population of Stockholm, and the source that they used led to a 404 error. Um, so, you know, in other words, like, I can't, and, and that person spoke German, uh, and so it would be difficult for me to talk to that person and ask them, like, what kind of source was that? Why did, why did that change? Is that actually an update, or is it just a mistake? Um, so, like... I said, like, I know this is a coincidence that, like, I just happened to pick this example, but, like, 100% of the things I tried have this problem. Um, and that's a really difficult thing to figure out. Um, and there's other uh, problems with references on, on Wikidata as well. Um, there's tainted references, like Lydia spoke about earlier, um, but there's also circular references, where uh, I believe a lot of the initial import came from Wikipedias, and so the source just says Italian Wikipedia. And that's a thing, though. Like, I know that everybody knows, but, like, that's an actual real thing. Like, we can't have it uh, on the big Wikipedias that, that the yeah. info box for every page doesn't have sources anymore. It's just, like, from Italian, like, Italian Wikipedia well, is, is sourcing itself. Can I answer some of that? Yes, please that, do. Yeah. Um, so looking at the English Wikipedia info boxes, they aren't referenced. <laughs> That's kind of a problem. So you need to look into the. Um, you mean article. traditional info boxes? Traditional info boxes, not the Wikidata ones. Forget the Wikidata ones here. If you want to find out where the information is in the info box, you need to look through the whole of the article and find it and pull it out, and that's difficult. Wikidata does support references. We need to use those more. Um, and in particular, when you're importing onto English Wikipedia, you only import referenced information. And that's excluding these um, source stated in English Wikipedia. That's ignored. Um, so it's only if it's a good reference and it's used. So there's some ways of doing that, but Wikidata does have a long way to go before everything is referenced. And uh, I think there is a bias here on the English Wikipedia in that it's the biggest Wikipedia which is uh, with more information. But uh, we actually run to, with the same problem on the French Wikipedia when we started with automated info boxes and people start following when there is discrepancies between Wikidata and Wikipedia, which one is right? And it was 19% Wikidata. So Wikidata was way better than Wikipedia and we spotted uh, wrong information, obsolete information and everything that nobody on Wikipedia had spot for years. So I think the numbers are less for the English Wikipedia uh, than for other Wikipedia, but the French Wikipedia is not a small one, but Wikidata was way better. Um, so I think it's not 90% for the English Wikipedia, but I think when there is discrepancies, and we have tools to do that, like, hey, this uh, manual value is conflicting with the value from Wikidata, or uh, these are, uh, when there is semantic templates uh, on the uh, code, like for tables of, um, of population, which you have in tables, which are sometimes, depending on the article, uh, with semantic uh, marker. You can use this semantic marker and say the value on from the info box uh, is not. So we, we have uh, technical means to track some of that and to put this, where is the error coming from. We did that work on the French Wikipedia and Wikistata statistically is right. Uh, but on the English Wikipedia, I think it's a little less. But I think it's actually a good thing to have a way to spot that there is a discrepancy and a, a reference problem. And yeah, Mike Pierce said that uh, you know, on most of the biggest Wikipedia, we only use reference statement and the import forms stated in Italian Wikipedia are not considered 
uh, as references. It's kind so. of a, a relic of the initial import that we did, but you're right, it's not acceptable as a reference statement, yeah. and yeah. most people are trying to get rid of those. Yeah. It's yeah. Just, <laughs> you need, you need. Uh, yeah, that's, that's a problem that needs a strategy on Wikidata. Like, how, how are we going to clean that up and, and it, get those it, references? I, I, I agree, but this is out of this presentation, no? Yeah. What's your proposal? Um, what do you propose? I, clean, clean Wikidata? Close I, Wikidata? I just, I I just don't know. wanted to point out that um, the distrust by people on some of the big wikis is actually based on real concerns about references. That yeah, but uh, the, ref the references problem starts in 2013 because the references on Wikidata was new and we couldn't deal with complicated references at the time, like technically on the Wikidata side. So we had like very bare uh, references. And I think some Wikipedians are still stuck on that, but Wikidata is in two 2019 now, and we have good references okay. on many things. We're going to go to the next question, but just to make sure people know, I think a lot of people in English Wikipedia and other large languages that are resistant to some of this, they make the argument that an error in Wikidata is magnified by these info boxes, but the number of fact checkers is also magnified, right? So you kind of see this both ways. Like if you have one place to fact check and reference, you solve the problem for hundreds of editions at the same time, right? So. Okay, so with the previous topic about how to implement it, uh, we in the Basque, <laughs> we in the Basque Wikipedia, we adopted the Catalan uh, system. And as I made it from scratch, when you do something uh, incrementally, uh, as the Catalans did, it's a lot of work, but uh, as I did it from scratch, uh, I noticed how long it took for me to to do that. So if you go to Wikidata, you have uh, the acronym of O, oh, what the fuck, yes? It's uh, one hour Wikidata template uh, system, or fully automated uh, system, and it's actually is one hour installing everything you need for a template to work. One, I mean, or biography, or city, or one of them. So implementing the five, six most used uh, templates will take you like 10 hours of work. I mean, it's like something you can handle easily in one week of volunteering, and you have it done. So. Uh, I mean, sometimes it's like, oh, but we, we need a lot of templates, we need a lot of things. It's quite straightforward if you are not a Wikipedia with only 10 articles and no templates, because then you need the coordinates, the model of coordinates, and these kind of things. But if you have some development, uh, it will take like one hour, two hours work to, to do that. It's quite easy. And I think the others will be also like one hour, two hours. It's not maybe yours is 30 minutes. I mean. <laughs> That's it. It's, it's quite easy. Yeah. But, yeah, wh what I said with Databox is that the problem with Databox is not installing it. It's translating and adding data to Wikidata to have your property in AUSA. That's the work. That's not making the info box. It's making the label atoms and the translation and everything. That's the work. So it's a very different kind of problem than the English Wikipedia who most of the time have the labels or are translated easily. Thank you. Um, I wanted to make you aware of uh, something that's going to be ben beneficial to, to this that is not directly related to info boxes, but is a proposal that I and Amir and a couple of other people have been working on for quite some time now around the central uh, repository for templates and modules. Yeah. So at the moment, if you have a module that you've written in for example, the English Wikipedia, and you want to use it on the Catalan Wikipedia or some minority language Wikipedia somewhere else, you have to copy across the code. And then when the code is improved on the English Wikipedia, the improvement typically doesn't get copied across or it gets copied across some time later. So the idea is to have a central repository where Lua modules can be held and used by every wiki uh, in the same way that you hold an image on Commons or a piece of data on Wikidata. So there is a very long draft proposal in uh, Media Wiki, Wiki, and I will put the address of that on the Etherpad when I hand the microphone back and can get a web connection. Yeah. We, we would like your yes, comments yes, yes, yes. and questions on that proposal. It is going to take a very long time 
before okay. this can be implemented because it will be quite a considerable no, no, no. change to the way that m the I underlying the, media wiki work. software works. But when it comes in, it will make these reuse of code by mine and Wikipedia is much more easy. <laughs> Great, thank you, Andy. Go ahead. Yes, so actually the link is here for the global template proposal. I just did not have time to talk about it, but yes, I think it would be tremendously useful. So if you could talk to foundation people, Wikimedia Foundation people, say, hey, you really need to make this proposal happen and develop it. Yes, it's a link to the proposal. Yes. No, 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 it's not the same. <laughs> not the same? I think maybe it's similar. This is, this is off topic, so let's not spend too much time. <laughs> yes. Okay, okay. This will okay. be incredibly useful, but... Take a look at the Etherpad, Andy will leave a note <laughs> there. Well, to answer, Andy, Andy, to answer to you, uh, is a, is a, uh, maybe, maybe you talk about a, a project called, yeah, sorry. called Multilingual Templates and Model, that is a, is a, a project, an initiative to, to make a repository that you can you can subscribe to there, and any any time the owner or the creator of this model or this templated uh, update, all the subscribers receive their own copy, if they don't change it the 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 previous one. So I don't know if finally will be this solution or another, but this initiative or this uh, idea, idea uh, I think that uh, all of us agree. Uh, I believe that Andy was talking about a mere proposal, so it's this one that is really having just uh, just like Wikidata, but for templates. Yes. Because you, you, have, you have things like the Lua code to verify that the check that you don't align square. Yes. Yeah. 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 Did you need? No. No, wait, wait. You have a question here. Um, uh, first of all, I wanted to thank you all for your great projects and uh, all of the work you're doing. And also the great idea with the central repository is uh, a good thing. I'm from the German Wikipedia um, and uh, we have a thing there with, uh, where we're trying to um, modify uh, most of the info boxes to actually support uh, data from Wikidata. And uh, we ran into a problem, uh, a more of a cultural problem actually, where, um, the, where we, we are importing data from Wikidata um, uh, per default, if nothing is entered into the, uh, into the info, uh, info box at the, um, at the uh, key value pair where, um, where it should be. So if you leave um, the, the position empty, for, exa uh, for example, the coordinates of something, then uh, the data comes from Wikidata, and if you put something in, it's a local override. And we run into a problem that um, sometimes people actually um, want uh, nothing in there. They, want, uh, they don't want to change the data in Wikidata, uh, but they don't want the data from Wikidata, and uh, they just want to override it so it says nothing, and, I, um, and we seem to have uh, no real solution for a use case scenario like that. Um, we thought about using like magic words uh, to suppress um, the actual uh, information from Wikidata, but uh, I don't know if you have uh, similar problems in your projects and how you tackle them. Yeah, so we have exactly the same problem on French Wikipedia, and what uh, uh, Infoboxes are currently doing is that if you put hyphen, you just uh, remove the oh. Wikidata value. It's, it's yeah. kind of a hack, but it works. Interesting. <laughs> In the one I use, um, you use a suppressed fields parameter, and you pass the name of a field you don't want to show, and it just hides it. Ah, there are okay. ways of doing this. It, it is something that happens on English Wikipedia as well. Things like religion, people don't want to show that in articles, so you can just turn it off. Really cool. So, and, uh, so as we were saying, you have multiple solutions depending on multiple problems, and you can, uh, on the French Wikipedia, we have some fields which are hidden in the info box itself. Like, if the info box is it, can be used for several kind of thing. Uh, we are saying, well, if it's this specific thing, then this field shouldn't show, uh, but it should show if it's this other thing, or manually in this article specifically, I don't want this field. So technical solution exists, and we can probably implement that on the German Wikipedia, no problem. Really great, yeah, I'm gonna look into that. Uh, yet the, to, to answer you, um, we can, we can uh, in our templates, you can hide any, any parameter, um, but um, in each use, article by article. Um, now, we are preparing a um, new release, if, we, if this release is, is used in another uh, Wikipedia, 
um, in order to be able to make some kind of a customization. For instance, the, what is the color of the headers? Well, you have a, co a color code, but maybe you want another. Uh, you don't need to change the code for do that. Or what the, the um, units that do you want the results of the measurements? We use, I use centimeters and meters, but maybe you want foot and so all these kind of things. We want to make a list of logical things that uh, another uh, Wikipedia um, want to uh, customize, and this define as a parameters that you can change, and no, no are changing the version of the info box because if you change the info box, you lose the connection with the synchronization. By the way, don't tell too many people, but Wikidata Infobox is on the German Wikipedia. <laughs> there, is a, uh, there is a working uh, mechanism that, okay, we have a central repository of Infoboxes. It's a great idea, but uh, it's a working thing if we have a central repository of documentation of these Infoboxes in Meta or uh, MediaWiki or uh, in a central place. So everybody can benefit. Uh, so if I can put, a, the, put that page into my watch list, if something changes, I will get a notification. So I can update my template. That, uh, that is easy. There is, no, it's, there is no need of a proposal for that thing. Uh, we can create a central repository of documentation. I don't think there's much documentation at the moment. So yeah, that's <laughs> important to do. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, or actually the help page for Databox are way longer than the code itself because it's for a very smart community with no technical background. But I think we have a tragic lack of documentation in templates in general. Uh, really a tragic lack. Uh, and I do think that Wikidata info boxes are not the worst, uh, not by a lot, uh, because we are working on so many uh, common Lua modules uh, we are u always using the same Lua brick, uh, so some of this, uh, docu this documentation actually probably exists in at least the French Wikipedia, but we have translation problem. Uh, we, we have, yeah, so a central repository would be great, but we will run translation problem. Dare I just throw out here in the room that we probably should have Wikidata items for all of these info boxes, and then we can have the documentation on Wikidata where you have multilingual translations that are a lot easier to do that. Yeah, uh, we, we actually have the templates for translation of the documentation of Databox, but people are not translating. So yeah, we, you could translate easily. You can help me translate that in your languages so people can use but. Yeah, I, I can't translate that in AUSA. I don't speak AUSA. In, in any case, um, when we talk about documentation of the template, we are thinking in a large documentation that explain each parameter and each value that you can put, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, our experience is 60% of all of articles has just info tabula person, info tabula building, info tabula no parameters. So the, the unique documentation that you need, and we don't have very well, I confess, is that what's the model of, that, of data that you have to fill in Wikidata? Not how the, not how the template runs, because you are not, go, not, not did it anymore. So we have stories, oh, sorry, just really quick. We have stories of Catalan and Basque, who are like 80% info boxes from Wikidata, which is incredible. English at the other end of the spectrum. Other languages, I'd love to hear from other folks um, after we hear from Jane about your experiences. French is somewhere maybe in between? Yeah. yeah. Okay, the wonderful Sandra Fouconnier, who's not in the room, I don't think, did this amazing page on Wikidata for the visual arts, where she actually put in all of the things that are actually considered artworks. So you could have a page on Wikidata that is your info box with all of the fields. Yeah. And then the fields can, you know, those are yeah, actual yeah. things with in Wikidata. Model, model, so that's yeah, why I talk yeah, about yeah. multilingual translation that is kind of automatically done for you. You can just put it in a huge yeah. table. Yeah. yeah. Um, 
that actually is the same problem we have on other projects we talk about at the Wikidatacon. I think it's a running thing, like uh, wiki project or thing are m making data modeling, saying, hey, this is how we should do that on Wikidata. And we have an outreach problem in that Wikidatian, which are not working on this specific subject, don't know how the data is modeled, and Wikipedian know that even less and everything else. So uh, most of it already exist in some form, but people who need it don't know they need it, so they don't search for the help pages which exist. So, yeah, it's not only a wiki, uh, an info boxes problem, it's a more generic problem. Uh, we ran out in several sessions today and yesterday. Any other reports on folks or Sh Shani? You have a question? Well, not report, but kind of a question uh, to, to the people in the room. Um, a show of hands, if we can, for a second. How many think that a, um, a, a central repository of, um, of info boxes is, is needed? Okay, let's do the opposite. Are there any people who oppose? Okay, so Andy, this is for you. Why did you say it's gonna take a long time to? <laughs> um, it, it's it's gonna take a long time because the people working on info boxes want it, and the people using the info boxes uh, don't want it. I have, a, I have to, uh, <laughs> okay, yeah. So um, on a technical level, making uh, so if you want to do it properly, so having one wiki where you put info box code and then you uh, having some other wikis taking the code and doing the proper rendering, it's pr kind of hard on the technical level. So it's going to, t so it's basically like implementing Wikidata, um, just like, for example, getting Wikidata content into Wikipedia was hard on the technical level. It's going, going to be kind of, the s kind of the same, and so it's something that a volunteer, for example, couldn't do at all. So it's why it takes a long time. It's definitely a WMF thing, yes. If you can help with that, but it's basically, it's like, it's software release engineering, basically, if you think about it, right? Yeah. Uh, so it gets pretty complex. Uh, yeah. um, I understand and I agree with you that it's not easy. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, it, it's not easy. Um, uh, maybe it's a, it's a dream, has a, a repository, central repository, etc., etc. However, um, when I try to, to, to do a, a, a installation pack, uh, the, the problems that I found is not only the translation problem, that the language is different, but even that the, 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 mm, the modus operandi is different. For instance, uh, the convert module exists uh, from, from several years. Uh, all of us copied from the English uh, version, but after that, we have to change it in order to adapt to our measurements. So these kind of things, or, are pre, pre, uh, or, or the model of the, the elements to put in the, in the repository is prepared to do that, or the repository is not the solution. It's not only a question of translate the, the, the language, but also that the, 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 running, uh, the, the running way must be different for each of one necessities of each user feature. If you don't, con if you don't take care of all of them, the model will, will not universal. And this is the difficulty, not, not the, the question of half a repository with automatic replication, no, this is technical solution, okay? Um, actually, on the French Wikipedia, one of the biggest, biggest and longest war edits uh, before Wikidata was a project, uh, was that we had three different uh, info boxes for cities. And there were info boxes with data about cities, uh, totally manually, so no wiki data question here. And we are war edits about these templates for years. It was a very big thing because people were like, no, I prefer information this way, or I prefer information this way. And with a big repository, we are multiplying that for every template across every wiki and uh, for community who have habits for years and years and years. So we have technical problem to do that, and we will, we will fight with a very, very big uh, push against it by people who are not creating the info boxes or using the info boxes, but will just be really unhappy that 
the specific field they are used to have at the top of the info box will get in the middle. That's what we will fight against. Because everyone wants a repository, but everyone wants a repository of their template as they want them. <laughs> sure. Yeah, just <coughs> Thank you. I, I think that's a valid point. But the idea is to provide a repository of modules. Uh, and then people can put their own front end on them if they want to in a local template. If they don't want to, there should be a shared template which they can use out of the box, as it were. But it's certainly meant to be configurable. And that is taken account into the proposal that EMEA's drafted, if you read that. And indeed, if you read the discussion page, that, that issue has already been addressed. Yeah. No. So can, I, can I just say that when people with Take the mic. Sorry, just, just a note that on Hebrew Wikipedia, for example, the templates that we, the, the info boxes that we use, um, they are automatic and, and come from Wikidata, but there's always a, an option for the community to edit that template and, and adjust it to our um, specific needs. So, No, the, the, the repository problem is not about taking information about Wikidata. It's like uh, on the French Wikipedia for days, we will have... Um, uh, space between, uh, I don't know, we will have the day, then the month, then the year. You don't want that order in English. So when you pull uh, data from dates, you want it formatted in English as you want it. And the friend, so the idea of the repository would be a generic Lua, uh, generic Lua template about dates where you can just put, hey, this is French, so I want this formatting. This is English, I want this. So whatever info boxes or other templates are y you are using, which use dates, can you, sh you can use the exact same uh, info box and have it correct in your language. Okay. And that's a technical problem. And can I suggest go to the talk page, talk about it there? Uh -huh. Amir would love feedback on this, so please do edit there. Sorry. Yeah. So, yeah, the repository is a really great thing for everyone working on Wikidata, but it's really not Wikidata centric uh, is a problem we are running with that idea. Everyone here will love it, but yeah. Any other questions? Siobhan, do you have a question? Uh, well, just a general question. Um, well, more, sorry, more aimed at Mike. I have come across the problem of wanting to use the um, info boxes on species pages in Wikicommons, uh, species categories in Wikicommons, and there are taxonomic-minded people who really do not like uh, Wikidata going anywhere near all their beautifully curated data which has no references yep. in their category. And I find it quite... I personally can handle the fact that they disagree... You know, the two pieces of data disagree. That's fine because taxonomists disagree all the time about whether something is even a species or not. But the people who I have edited their category pages for go off the deep end at me for doing it. So I've learned very quickly to back off and not do it and only do it for my categories that I'm creating. And I'm very quick about creating my categories before they get anywhere near them so that I can stick a wiki data, you know, wiki data yeah. sourced info box on it. And then they don't take it off because it's there first. But they do still put their own data in there, unreferenced. Yeah. Uh, so taxons are the one exception on commons at the moment to the Wikidata Infobox uh, deployment. Yes. It probably counts as canvassing, but anyway, if you go to the village pump slash proposals, there is currently, I submitted a proposal to add them to taxons. So go comment on there, please. Okay. It's currently being discussed. <laughs> Thanks. Good. We only have about five uh, minutes left. Um, so one, la or two minutes left. Yeah. Um, I, I have a, an answer to Andy. Andy? Uh, yeah. What you propose about uh, um, 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 common play, a common uh, base and a um, pre personalized uh, presentation is the, is the best solution. They copy it or module and or templates, and after that, they modify their templates. So now are similar, but uh, they have uh, their own copy. Obviously, also. Um, each time we made an upgrade, as we have with, with relationship, I send a message, but I can send a copy of you. But this is a, cho is, is a choice of the, of the um, implementator. Make modifications or not? 
One last question for the folks there. How many people here know about shape expressions in Wikidata? Yeah. They're E numbers in Wikidata. You had a quick slide up there, but what do you folks predict as the relationship between what you're doing with info boxes and the rise of shape expressions or checks in Wikidata? There's a mic right there. So, you know, I would love to be able to define info boxes with shape expression. Mm -hmm. Because here you would write, basically my idea is that you would write a shape expression on how the data should look like, and then you would annot maybe annotate them with some labels if you want to customize, let's say, the field name. And then it would be able to do multiple things. First, generate the info box. For example, the shape exp here there is an example of shape expression for you, person info box. You would just first say that you have a sex and gender property with some other values than the birth date and some, let's say, the nationality and so on. And then you could see this as a section of info box on which you could give a label in multiple languages. So this way you are able to first generate the info box. Then you are able to uh, validate the data. If you want to do, uh, an, you could even do some fun stuff like generating, having some, you know the project of uh, Wikimedia Germany of being able to edit Wikidata from Wikipedia? Wikidata Bridge, yes, thank you. So uh, currently it's working on each field, but if you have this kind of things for Infobox, you could do um, edit forms that not works on the field level, but on the Infobox level. And you already know which has the possible values, for example, for a property, or could be able to say that you might have multiple values for some, but not for others, and so on. And so you would have both the display, the validation, and the editing all in the same place. And for the display part, it would be like for uh, the, the, the Catalan state, uh, with four info boxes, they are like half the data. So uh, with a shake of exp expression, we could say, hey, this is a human, I want this layout. This is a location, I want this layout, without any uh, press, m without even needing several info boxes. Uh, so it would be a way to make data box even prettier for a very small Wikipedia and everything. So yeah. Wow. Big thing I'm enthusiastic about. Thanks, but, but I, I, with four changes, with four changes, I, shall, I solve 50%. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see how it integrates shapes expressions into the Wikidata info box because it just uses it's one thing for everything, whereas this is breaking it down again to individual bits and pieces and changing around the formatting for each individual area, which maybe isn't so useful. Yeah. Very useful for getting data into uh, Wikidata <laughs> and saying this is what we want in these entries. But then the info boxes can just display the whole lot without having to go into this complexity, I think. I, I, I agree with Mike. Uh, one of our goals, initially goals, were the harmonization. Uh, if you don't like my look and feel, you, may, may, you can make proposals to change. But everybody will have the same, at least in my Wikipedia. Because if not, uh, finally, you can have four uh, info boxes for 50 percent, you need 40 info boxes for 50 percent. Right. So it's very dangerous. <laughs> it's, no, no, I agree, that, I agree that my design do, doesn't like, I change it. Right. But all the articles with the same uh, design that, that we agree. Right. Great. Well, thank you so much. Please have a hand for the vote. Center. All right. And continue the conversation online, talk page, or find them later on. Thanks. <laughs>